Lieutenant General Sir Henry George Wakelin Smith, 1st Baronet GCB, known as Sir Harry Smith, was a notable English soldier and military commander in the British Army of the early 19th century. Biography He was born in Whittlesey, Cambridgeshire, the son of a surgeon. A chapel in the town St. Mary's Church was restored in his memory in 1862, and a local community college also bears his name. Sir Harry Smith Community College Napoleonic Wars Harry Smith, for throughout life he adopted the more familiar form of his Christian name of was educated privately and was commissioned, on 8 May 1805, and then promoted lieutenant on 15 August. His first active service was in South America in 1806 during the British invasions of the Rio de la Plata. He distinguished himself at the Battle of Montevideo in 1807, but first came to real prominence during the Peninsula War. Smith served throughout these campaigns with the 95th Rifles in which he served from 1808 through to the end of the war at the Battle of Toulouse in 1814. In 1810 he was appointed to ADC to Colonel Beckwith. Early in 1812 on 28 February he was promoted captain. Having already the previous March joined the 2nd Brigade Light Division as Major to the Major General's Staff. On 7 April the day following the storming of Badajoz a well-born Spanish lady, whose entire property in the city had been destroyed, presented herself at the British lines seeking protection from the license of the soldiery for herself and her sister, a child of 14. The latter, Juana Maria de los Dolores de Leon, had but recently emerged from a convent, but notwithstanding her years she was married to Harry Smith a few days later. She accompanied him throughout the rest of the war. At the close of the war Harry Smith volunteered for service in the United States where he was present at the Battle of Bladensburg on 24 August 1814, and witnessed the burning of the Capitol at Washington, which, as he said, horrified us coming fresh from the Duke's humane warfare in the south of France. Returning to Europe he was a brigade major at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815, and afterwards rewarded as assistant quartermaster general to the division. During the occupation of France he was sent to be mayor of Cambrai in Picardy. With the restoration of peace in France he returned to divisional ADC at Glasgow for Major General Raynal, GOC Western District of Scotland. Smith impressed Raynal, who helped his appointment as ADC to the Governor of Nova Scotia, Lieutenant General Sir James Kempton 1826. South Africa Smith was promoted major in the army by the end of 1826 but remained unattached to a regimental posting, and was still unattached when raised to lieutenant colonel in July 1830. In 1828 Smith was ordered to the Cape of Good Hope, where he commanded a force in the Sixth Khosa War of 1834-36. In 1835 he accomplished the feat of riding from Cape Town to Grahamstown in less than six days, after he had restored confidence among the whites by his energetic measures. He was appointed governor of the province of Queen Adelaide, where he gained unbounded influence over the native tribes, whom he vigorously set himself to civilize and benefit. But though Sir Benjamin Durban, the High Commissioner, supported Smith, the Ministry in London reversed his policy and, to quote Smith's own words, directed the province of Queen Adelaide to be restored to barbarism. Smith himself was removed from his command, his departure being deplored alike by the Bantu and the Boers, many Boers. Largely in consequence of this policy of Lord Glenelg began the migration to the interior known as the Great Trek. India Harry Smith was appointed Adjutant General in India in 1840, where he took part in the Gwalior Campaign of 1843, for which he was appointed a Knight Commander of the Order of the Bath and the First Anglo-Sikh War of 1845-46. He was in command of a division under Sir Hugh Goff at the Battles of Mudka and Feroz Shah, where he conspicuously distinguished himself. 
but was insufficiently supported by the commander-in-chief. After the second of these actions Sir Harry Smith was appointed to an independent command, and on 28 January 1846 he inflicted a crushing defeat on the Sikhs at Hallowell on the Sutledge. At the Battle of Sabran on 10 February he again commanded a division under Goff. For the great victory of Alawil he was awarded the thanks of Parliament, and the speech of the Duke of Wellington was perhaps the warmest encomium ever bestowed by that great commander on a meritorious officer. Sir Harry was at the same time created a baronet, and as a special distinction the words of Alawil were by the patent opended to the title. He was promoted to Major General on 9 November 1846. Returned to South Africa in 1847 he returned to South Africa as Governor of Cape Colony and High Commissioner, with the local rank of Lieutenant General, to grapple with the difficulties he had 14 11 years before. He took command of an expedition to deal with the disaffected Boers in the Orange River of Sovereignty and fought the Battle of Boom Platz on 29 August 1848. It has been asserted that the half-mad Smith's seizure of the entire region of British Caffraria in 1848 was launched and carried out entirely on his own initiative, Piers Brendan described Smith placing his foot on the neck of the ex-Hosan ruler and proclaiming, I am your paramount chief, and the Kafirs are my dogs. In December 1850 war broke out with the Koza and some of the Koi Koi. Sir Harry Smith was insufficiently supplied with troops from England, and though his conduct of the operations was warmly approved by the Duke of Wellington and other military authorities, Earl Grey, in a dispatch never submitted to the Queen, recalled him in 1852, before the Koza and Khoi Khoi he had been completely subdued. He protested strongly against the abandonment of the Orange River sovereignty to the Boers, which was carried out two years after his departure, and he actively furthered the granting of responsible government to Cape Colony. His reputation now is of someone who behaved autocratically and oppressively towards the Kosa, and did a great deal of harm. It is said he insisted chiefs kiss his feet, for example. His wife Juana gave her name to Lady Smith in KwaZulu Natal as well as Ladder Smith in the Western Cape Province. Harris Smith in the Free State was named after Smith himself. Back in England in 1853 he was made general officer commanding Western District back in England. He was given brevet promotion to lieutenant general on 20 June 1854 and appointed GOC Northern District in 1856. He died at his home at Eaton Place, London, on 12 October 1860. He was buried at St. Mary's, Whittlesea, where he is commemorated with a marble bust and memorial. That section of the church is known as Sir Harry's Chapel. His wife, Juana, deceased 10 October 1872, is interred with him. His autobiography, first published posthumously in 1901, is regarded as a classic of love and war. The story of Harry Smith and his wife in the Peninsula Campaign and the Battle of Waterloo is narrated in Georgette Hare's novel The Spanish Bride. Bibliography